the experts' advice on home remodeling, which improvements have the best return on investment, and which could actually decrease the value of your home. That's up next. Your real estate news starts now. Thank you for watching the Real Estate News. I'm your host, Stacey Hansen. Let's look at your headlines. When you think about home remodeling, you weigh the project's potential impact on buyers against which renovations will actually recover their cost at resale. Realtor Mag's 2015 Remodeling Impact Report found that new roofing had the greatest cost recovery with 105% recovered at resale. Hardwood refinishing typically recovers 100% of cost as well. Insulation upgrades and new garage doors also yield fairly good return on investment. The good news, those same exterior projects are most likely to please buyers as well. The interior projects most likely to appeal to buyers, however, were not the best in terms of payback when the home is sold. The interior renovations buyers like most are kitchen and bathroom upgrades, adding additional bathrooms and new wood flooring. Of course, sometimes a renovation isn't just about resale value and is more about what gives the owner the most joy. Among the projects found most likely to accomplish that are revamping the master suite, replacing the front door, and putting up new fiber cement siding. On the flip side, some renovations could actually decrease your home's value. The number one mistake, according to Market Watch, is removing a bedroom to expand the size of another. The number of bedrooms in a home is a big feature used to compare two properties. And since listing prices are determined by looking at what comparable homes are selling for, the more bedrooms a home has, the higher the price it commands on the market. Reducing the number of bedrooms also means there could be fewer buyers interested in looking at your home at all, as some people are set on having a minimum number of bedrooms, regardless of each room's square footage. Market Watch states there may be an exception to the rule if you have a five or six bedroom home already, or if some of the bedrooms are smaller than eight by ten feet. In those cases, you might benefit from combining two. Other renovation mistakes that make your home harder to sell are removing a closet and turning the garage into living space. Most buyers find those features hard to give up in a potential new home. Wall Street Journal surveyed interior designers about the top trends for 2016. They say metal finishes throughout your home. You should look for black metals like iron and black and steel and do away with the copper and rose gold metals that dominated last year's trends. Also expect to see more old world ornamentation like brocades, tapestries, fringe and tassels, replacing the coldness of the industrial chic movement so popular in recent years. Tough fibered seigel and jute rugs will make way for the colorful geometrics of Scandinavian flat weave rugs. The designer says the sophisticated patterns of those designs are subtle enough to work with both contemporary and traditional interiors. Stay tuned, we have more coming up right after this. And welcome back. Up next is Becky Anderson. She's the owner and manager of Trasta on the Water. Welcome back, Becky. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, Stacy. It's always fun to come here. So one of the things that I really love about your place is that great interior design you've got going on there. Could you tell our viewers about that? Our interior design is um, on the first floor is industrial loft concept with the open spaces where you have the um, piping running through the ceiling. It's really, really, really popular, and it's got uh, the rough cement and that type of thing. Absolutely beautiful. And now, besides being gorgeous, um, it also has, you also offer a lot of special services to your residents as well. Uh, yes, we do. We have a concierge service, which will take uh, the uh, dry cleaning. They'll, we deliver packages. We even will take out uh, on an emergency basis or on-call basis. We'll even take a, a pet out if they, the owner can't get back and, at a certain time. Wow. That's so convenient. It really is. And they, the, the people there just love that service. Oh, yeah. That's so nice to have. And if you want to get outside of your apartment, too, you've got tons of areas to hang out there as well. We do. We've got a, a lobby area where you can, we have a bar that does not have a bartender, so people could, if they want to get out of their apartment, they can come down and hang out there. We've got four televisions. We've got a gaming room. We've got a community room where the tenants can reserve and have a meeting or play fantasy football in there or that type of thing. 
And your amenities are just out of this world as well. You have a pet spa, correct? We do. We have a pet spa. It's, everybody sees it and they're just like, really? You have a pet spa? <laughs> and it, we have fitness on demand, which we do not have a fitness center, but we have the fitness on demand where you can go and with the, uh, plug in what you want to do, whether it's yoga or Pilates or whatever, and uh, you can uh, do it by yourself or with a friend. And we have a project room, too, so if you want to build a piece of furniture, frame a picture, we've got benches and tools in there to use. Oh, wow, that is, that's great. You don't see that very often. That's super convenient as well. Um, and you've also got the water right there. Um, any water-related act activities going on? I know it's pretty cold right now. Do you have ice or what's well, going on Well, we with do. That? We have, I'm not sure how thick it is, but <laughs> we're um, on the lagoon part. Um, it's, it is frozen over. So I think you probably could ice skate on it. And then we have Rutabaga that's right next door to us where you, people can rent a kayak, a canoe, paddle board, and we have a pier so you can pull your boat up and visit our restaurant. Amazing. Um, well, thanks so much for stopping by again. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks, Stacy. And stay tuned. We have more coming up right after this. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. My next guest is Kirsten Goggin with Century 21. Welcome back, Kirsten. Nice to have you here again. Hi, Stacy. How are you? I am doing great. Now, you have what I hear is a fabulous property, and you've recently reduced the price. Yes, 2257 Manly Drive in Sun Prairie. It is a really cool property. Low town of Sun Prairie taxes, three bedrooms, two full baths. Um, living room, family room, it backs up to farmland. Um, it's a half duplex, two car garage. We just reduced to 169.9. Um, so, and we've had a lot of interest, but uh, where the seller said, let's get this sold. So we just figured we'd reduce it. And uh, it's, it's gonna sell soon now. But if you are interested, if you haven't seen it, Make sure you give me a call and get yourself in there before it's gone. If you're looking to buy, you probably want to jump on that one right now. Now, you're also offering an incentive for sellers that meet with you through the end of February, correct? I am. There is still a lack of inventory and it's holding back sales overall, the full total recovery of the market. Um, yeah, so I'm offering incentives to sellers who meet with me um, you know, now until to the end of February. So I will, I've got different packages to fit different sellers needs because no two properties and no two sellers are the same. They have different goals. And um, so I will give, I will upgrade my package for you. If you mentioned that you saw this on CW and you schedule a time to meet with me before the end of February, yes. Absolutely want to jump on that as well if you're looking to sell. Uh, now, how long does this run again? It's going to run through the end of February. And on all of my package, packages, no matter what, I provide my professional photographer and the video tour, which has the, the zoom in from Google Earth. Um, that's just standard on all of my packages. But, um, you know, if we upgrade it, if it's fine homes and estates, I've got the cool drone photography capability. That's great for lakefront properties. Um, and then also there is the brand new 3D dollhouse like walkthrough which is super 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 cool so um, they've got a 3d model of your property and then you click on the room and it zooms you right in and boom you're standing in the middle of the kitchen and then you take your mouse and you just walk room to room or if you want to go to the the basement you just zoom back out click on the room in the basement pulls you right in there it's incredible I don't even know how he does it but it's 360 degrees, like you can look at the ceiling, look at the floor, look all the way around the room. Super, super cool stuff. And um, <clears throat> also offer, you know, UHP home warranty, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm not saying you'd have to list your house by the end of February, you just have to meet with me. Um, although you it would behoove you to meet with me and list before February because you know, the time to sell, if you've even been thinking about it, it's now because supplies are low. Buyers are out there. Um, money's still cheap, so they are wanting to buy. And with a lack of inventory, that equals a good price in a short amount of time for you. Yes, we keep hearing so much about how there's just not that much on the market right now. So if you are looking to sell, there's not a lot of competition out there. There isn't. So it's, it's prime time if you've even been thinking about selling. But, you know, even if you decide that now's not the time, there's still a ton of information. I'm going to tell you fair market value, um, approximate days on market. Of course, that's going to change if you don't list right now. But it's good to know where you're at. You have something to gauge it, to, to base it off of. Um, and maybe you decide that you'll wait until later this year, maybe next year, and that's fine 
online too. Uh, just meet with me and I can help uh, help you put the pieces together to figure out what would be the best move for you. Those were great offers. Well, thanks so much, Kirsten. Thank you. Have a great day. And stay tuned. Welcome back. My next guest is Chad Spate. He's the president at Chad's Design Build and a member of NARI. Welcome, Chad. Nice to have you here. Thanks. It's great to be here. So you're a general contractor. What projects can you do for homeowners? Well, we can do many things. Uh, most of the projects we do involve renovating parts of a home that already exist. So we might be renovating a kitchen or a bathroom, maybe a lower level. Occasionally, homeowners will ask us to expand their space, so we'll build an addition and we go through an extensive design process prior to finalizing the details and signing the construction contract. So if someone wants to learn more, um, there's actually a NARI Expo coming up January 22nd to the 24th, and you're exhibiting there, correct? That's correct. And what else can people expect to find there? Well, it's an excellent opportunity to meet some of the best contractors in the local area uh, to learn about what you can do in your home. Uh, along with the contractors that are there, you'll also be able to see many products. Uh, many of our suppliers and trade partners will be there exhibiting. And there are a lot of excellent uh, seminars that are also going to be presented at the event. Oh, what kind of se seminars are available there? Well, there are a number of uh, categories and there are actually four rooms and seminars are pretty much going throughout the day in all four rooms. Um, I think there are over 50 seminars this year. There'll be topics like energy efficiency, uh, kitchen and bathroom remodeling and design, interior design, uh, then there will be exterior renovation work and landscaping, and then some additional kind of specialty uh, items that will be discussed. That's so cool to just have everything all in one place and you can just learn so much in just a couple of days. Um, so as a home remodeling professional, I, I'm wondering what's the most common project that you see people do? That's an excellent question. Uh, in recent years, I would say that more people have been looking to improve their existing home. It used to be many people would look to add space, and now we're finding the trend is that people want to improve the space they have, make it more comfortable, um, efficient, uh, and, and more beautiful. So uh, many times there will be parts of a person's home that they don't quite like. Maybe it's the kitchen layout or a bathroom and uh, they'll hire a professional like our company to figure out how they can improve that space and make it a more inviting place to live. And that's always so much fun to do. So um, where can people find more information on the Expo? Well, the best place to go to get all the information you could possibly want to learn is at our website, which is www.nariexpo.com, and that's spelled N-A-R-I-E-X-P-O. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, and we're excited for the Expo. You bet. It's great to be here. And Hope you, to see you there. You stay tuned. And welcome back. My next guest is Josh Lavick. He's a real estate agent with Keller Williams. Welcome back, Josh. Nice to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me here. So tell us what's going on in the real estate market right now. Yeah, so as you can imagine, with all the snow out there, January is typically one of our slowest months of the year for home sales. So last year at this time, there was 321 home sales. Compare that to June of last year of 1,091 sales. You know, it's wow. about a third as much. So, you know, and keep in mind, those were for offers that were written in probably November. Oh, okay, so it takes about two months to close on a, ho a house right now? Yeah, correct. So with the lending changes that happened in October, most closings are what used to be 35, 30 to 45 days is now happening more like 45 to 60 days out from the date you have an accepted offer. Another interesting thing about um, the past few months is the inventory levels of homes available has been steadily declining. So most experts consider five to seven months of inventory a stable market. Um, and November, for example, of 2015, we're at 2.81 months in, in Dane County. Wow, that's a lot lower. So that means it's more of a seller's market, correct? 
Yeah, definitely uh, better for home sellers. As you can imagine, uh, fewer homes to choose from for the buyer means that sellers will probably get better prices now than, uh, than a few years ago. Actually, another option I'm finding more common with home buyers is building a new home because the competition is uh, so tough for used homes in certain areas. So you're saying buy a new home rather than just compete with other buyers for a used home. That makes sense. Um, so tell us about the process of a new construction. Yeah, so if, first off, if you're considering building, uh, it's usually a good idea to start collecting some notes. Um, you know, what styles do you like? Two-story ranch, uh, what kind of floor plan? Uh, do you prefer white painted trim or do you like stain trim? Oh, and if you like stain trim, do you like light stain or dark stain? And then, you know, wood floors, laminate, vinyl, tile, all those kinds of things. There's really a ton of choices out there. So the better idea you can have about your preferences before you meet with any builder or architect will help make that process a lot smoother. Those are all good things to think about. There are so many things that go into decision making on new construction. Anything else that you want to suggest to people about that or anyone that's thinking about doing it? Um, yeah, so the, the process is usually about three to six months or, or potentially longer if uh, you're starting from scratch. So, you know, getting started now is probably a good time if you're hoping to close by the end of the year and move in. You know, another option that you might consider if you want to buy a new home that's already built, this is called a spec house. So if the anxiety of infinite building choices stresses you out, then this definitely would be a good option to consider. For financing options, you, you know, you can either do construction loan withdraws throughout the build process, or you can do a turnkey where the, the builder actually does most of the financing and then they just do a final loan upon the closing, upon completion, excuse me. Um, actually, I have a list of uh, some of my top tips that you must consider before building. And uh, if you want to check us out on well, online or give us a call, we'd be happy to share that with you. Definitely check that out. Well, thanks so much, Josh. Great to have you here again. Great. Thank you. And stay tuned. And welcome back. My next guest is Bill Quigley. He's the branch manager at Network Funding. Welcome, Bill. So I hear the inventory of homes for sale has been pretty low lately and some people are having a hard time finding the perfect home that they really want. Um, do you have some options for people to help I, them with that? I do have some options for people. Inventory has been low. Hopefully this spring we'll have more inventory coming into the marketplace. But if we don't, what I'm hearing from a lot of people is they find a home that's close, but it's not quite the perfect dream home that they want. What we have is a mortgage product, actually several mortgage products, whereby if you find a home that's close, maybe it's on a nice lot, it's got a great layout, but maybe it needs a new kitchen, or you want to add another bedroom, finish the basement, or remodel the master bath. We have several different mortgage products where you can purchase the home and incorporate into that financing monies to rehabilitate or remodel the home to make it perfect and give you exactly what you want for your dream home. So you don't have to keep looking. You can find the exact home that you want right now and remodel it to make it perfect. Oh, that's wonderful news. Now, what about those that are really wanting to get their home, but it seems like it's taking them forever to save for their down payment? Can you help people with that so they can purchase now? There was a recent survey that I read from Fannie Mae. They did a survey in 2015 of first-time home buyers and how long it takes them to save for a down payment. And in that survey, a large percentage of the first-time home buyers thought that they had to save up 15% of the purchase price as a down payment. And you don't need to save up nearly that much money to purchase a home. You can purchase a home with no money down, 3%, 3.5%, 5%, whatever the case may be. And in that same survey, it found that if you're going to save 15% for a down payment, it could take up to five years. Whereby if you reduce your down payment to as low as 3%, you can have that down payment ready usually within about a year. Many first-time home buyers already have those funds available through different sources and we can help them get into a home now versus having to wait a long period of time to save up that down payment. Well, that's great news. Um, so if somebody's ready to make a move on this for spring, what are some of the things they should start doing now? The first thing anybody should do, whether you're a first-time home buyer or a move-up buyer, move-down buyer, wherever you are on the housing spectrum, get your mortgage pre-approved. All you gotta do is go to my website, madtownmortgage.com, click on the Apply Now button. You fill out a loan application, it'll take you about five minutes. Once you fill out that loan application, we get you fully pre-approved for all the mortgage programs that you're eligible for. There's more than one mortgage program that you may be eligible to use to purchase your home. Once I have your loan application and work on your pre-approval, I do an analysis of all the different mortgage programs that you can use to purchase your home. We lay out the mortgage programs side by side so you can compare them and look at different down payment scenarios, 
terms, what program works best for which situation. You can then compare the programs and make a determination on which one works best for you. This also helps your real estate agent in looking for the home and negotiating on your purchase. So always get pre-approved, have your purchase ready to go. That way we can also close your purchase in less than 30 days. Most lenders today in today's environment, they need 45 to 60 days to close on purchase transactions. We are closing in less than 30 days. Wow, that is great news. Well, thanks so much for stopping by today. It was wonderful to have you. Great to be here. Thank you. And stay tuned. And welcome back. My next guest is Mallory Hepner. She's an architectural intern at OPN Architects. Welcome. So what are some recent projects that OPN has going on in Madison? Yeah, we have a number of projects that are in the works. We've been in operation just under two years. So we've completed lots of tenant renovations downtown Madison. Forward Health Group is one that we're really excited about as a young up and coming tech startup. Fifth Element Coffee is another local entrepreneur we've worked with. We are working with the Madison Fire Station, Madison Library Maintenance Facility. We just won an award for the Wanakee Public Library. There's been a number of really exciting projects we're working on. Wow, congratulations on that. All Thank very you. exciting. Um, so you're very involved um, with a lot around town, obviously. Um, how do you feel that architects can be involved in a community's economic development? Yeah, one of the things that I think, especially the staff at OPN, feels really proud and excited about is that we can help kind of shape uh, the way a community is growing. So this young tech entrepreneur trend that's just now happening in Madison is really exciting because it's, it's shaping really unique, innovative spaces for us. And it's also kind of changing the paradigm of how buildings are looked at. They're a lot more progressive and contemporary than they were even five years ago. And a lot of that's because of the epic spin-offs that have come, the young urbanites that want to be in a progressive city. And how exciting to be at the forefront of that. Exactly. So how are you guys involved in the community that you work in here? Yeah, we're on a number of boards, uh, design commissions. We're involved in Downtown Madison, Inc., which talks about transportation issues, housing, safety and security in the places that our staff live and work. We are involved with the Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce, Middleton Chamber of Commerce, uh, a number of nonprofits and philanthropic activities. We are participating in Design Momoka this year, as well as designing an ice shanty for the Frozen Assets Festival. Oh, wow, and when is that coming up? That's coming up. The fundraiser's in February, so we're partnered with Ideal Builders, and we took an old Avion trailer and converted it to an ice fishing slash tailgating machine. <laughs> oh, how fun. Yeah. How cool to be on the forefront of all these exciting things. Well, thanks so much for stopping by today. It was wonderful to have you. Thank you for having me. And you stay tuned. We have more coming up right after this. For all of us here, I want to thank our guests for their time today and also thank you for tuning in to your real estate news. I'm Stacey Hansen. We'll see you next time.